Hello, I'm Catherine and welcome to Purposeful Fridays. Today we're going to discuss comparison. Who have you, me, been comparing ourselves to? Do we actually have comparison all wrong? And does comparison provide us motivation to be better, to do better? Or does it actually erode our confidence? In today's world, it is so easy to get tied up into the behavior or fall into the behavior of comparison through endless access we have into other people's worlds, other people's lives, whether it's through social media, the internet, reality TV, or any other mode. We're constantly being bombarded of images of other potential lives or, or how life could be. But the question I have is when we're comparing ourselves to these realities, are they authentic realities? Because the power that these mediums give us as individuals is a power to create an identity of a person that we want to be or a person that we want others to believe we are. And the interesting thing when we're comparing, when we fall into this comparison mode through these types of realities, we don't just stop at power or status. Like, you know, I want to be that successful. I want to be that rich. We compare absolutely everything. I'm not pretty enough. I'm not beautiful enough. I'll never look as good as that person. I'll never be able to afford a car like that. I can't travel. It just goes on and on and on. So the, one of the questions I have for you is when you find yourself in comparison mode, how does it actually make you feel? Because I think that's the key as to whether we're doing this comparison thing right or wrong. So here's the thing, right? Social theory actually says that we're hardwired to compare ourselves to others, that it's a natural thing to do. And the purpose or the reason that we do it is because it helps us understand where we fit. We can benchmark ourselves within the community that we live in. And when we look and see others achieving success and being more successful, it then motivates and inspires us to do better and be better. And I think if you go back 30, 40 years, this actually makes a lot of sense because the community that we lived in was significantly smaller than the access to other realities and lives that we have today. So when we were comparing ourselves, we're simply comparing ourselves to the community and the people that we interact with every day, whether that be our family, the people we work with, our religious groups, our community, and even the people within our schooling system. So that kind of makes sense to me. But in this world, in this reality, where we have so much access to or, or insight into the lives that other people are living. I actually believe when we're comparing ourselves, we're actually attempting to follow in someone else's footsteps. We're imitating their success. We're trying to be a better version of somebody else. And I don't feel that we're being our true authentic self when we're doing that. Because we're actually comparing ourselves to somebody who's got completely different skills and knowledge and strengths to us. Someone who has different life experiences. They're in a different part of their life journey. They've had different life lessons. And the research actually shows that when we, when we do this, when we're comparing ourselves to others, it can ultimately result in failure and a feeling of being less than or unworthy. So social comparisons can actually lead to feelings of insignificance and insecurity. It erodes trust and ultimately it results in low self-esteem and low self-confidence. There's a quote by John Acuff, which I absolutely love, which is, don't compare your beginning to somebody else's middle. And the way I interpret that is, is what I was saying a little bit earlier about we all have different life lessons and we're in a different part of our life journey. So it's totally unfair of me or, or you to compare where we're at in our life and the lessons we've had 
to somebody else who could be far more advanced on their journey and had far more life lessons than we have. And I'll give you an example of that. When I first started my, or when I first started working for myself, I was learning about the importance of utilizing social media. And so I was on social media every day and I was using it more than I've ever used it in my entire life. But instead of just getting on there and doing what I had to do for my work and then hopping off, I found myself scrolling through and looking at all of these other people who were more successful than me and doing things that I didn't think I could ever do and I was never going to be that good enough. I was never that smart enough. And it was crazy because it was making me feel so inadequate and insecure in what I was attempting to do and build in my life. And it was probably early summer, last summer, that I had, while I was in one of these social media spiral frenzies, comparing myself to every man his dog, I realized that I'm not them and I never will be them. And that I'm comparing myself to their reality. They may be far more advanced on their journey and they had to start somewhere at some point. But then maybe they're not. Maybe it just appears they are because that's the reality they're putting out. But the other thing I realized was I am me and I have unique qualities that I have built and gained and what an experience and knowledge and skills that I've gained and gathered through 30 plus years of my own personal experiences and, and corporate experiences. And so they're the things that make me unique and they're the things that make me me and they're my strengths. So I don't compare myself to others anymore. I just compare myself to the person I was yesterday and I strive to be a better person than I was yesterday. So this Purposeful Friday, I ask you to take some time to reflect on who have you been comparing yourself to lately? And why have you been comparing yourself to those people? Does it motivate you and inspire you to do better? If so, that's fantastic and keep doing it, that's brilliant. But does it actually, or does it actually make you feel a little bit inadequate and small? And if that's the case, then stop comparing yourself to others. Thanks for listening today, and I hope you have a fabulous weekend. Bye.